Hello, everybody, Caden here today with another episode of Minecraft Dinosaurs, and we're back on the world for the first time in quite a while, a second video in one week. So, right off the bat, you guys should be able to tell something looks slightly different, namely the trees and the grass and, well, uh, if there was any here, water. That's because I have put better foley. Oh, I guess the logs look different as well. Yes, look at them. They're round. Yay. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've put uh, better foliage on because, well, why not? I, I don't know. I, I like the mod. It's a cool one. Um, so, since last episode, what have I done? Um, well, I put some trees in here. Uh, I haven't actually seen how this looks with uh, better foliage. Not terrible. Not terrible. There are some builds with... I don't know if I'm going to keep playing with better foliage. It's a decent mod, but there are a couple of builds since I did you know, start the series with it, that do not look the greatest, so, yeah. Um, so you guys remember I said I was going to try and work on improving the Triceratops exhibit? All I really did was expand the lake there a bit, add in some more trees, um, not much. Uh, <laughs> reason I just kind of, again, I was busy, uh, I didn't have any time to do this yesterday, so, yeah, that, that kind of... <laughs> I was really busy yesterday. Um, I have some food. Anyway, like you saw in my inventory, I have a ton of stuff with me. And that is because today I'm gonna actually work on the thing I said I was I might start yesterday, which is the uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, blah, blah 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 blah. Ranger station vet area thing. Because I don't know, I really like the idea of it, and I honestly want to see how far I can get with it. I think it could be a cool thing to build, and. I, I don't know, I like it. Also, someone asked if we're gonna put more Dilophosaurs into that exhibit, and the answer to that is no. There will probably not be any more Dilophosaurs in the Dilophosaurus exhibit. Mainly just because I don't really want to put any more in there. I kinda like it just being two. I think it looks actually a bit cooler with uh, fewer in there. Um, okay, we're out of wheat. I'm gonna go and get some from the farm. Because we need food, because otherwise we're going to run out of it, and then we're going to starve to death, and that would be quite terrible, to be honest. This is like the first time I've actually harvested this thing. That's... Wow. Is it really the first... Yeah, that's probably the first time I've actually harvested this thing. Wait, no, is it? No. I don't know. It's been a very long... Oh, and I'm stuck. There we go. I don't know how I got stuck there, but I did. Yeah, no, this isn't the first time I've harvested this thing. Man, it's been a while. It, things that happen when you haven't played this game for a while. Oh, no, no, I haven't harvested the one by the house. No, I've harvested the one. Okay. I forgot I had two wheat fields, even though I was looking at it. They're not really wheat fields, I guess. They're like little crop spots, things. I really don't know. I have no clue. Indeed. Anyway, we're gonna work on the ranger station thing a bit today because, well, why not? Because um, I figured the the making things look better part of the series, I or at least the current part we're at. Okay, now that doesn't look good. I will have to fix that. Um, but that idea of uh, upgrading some of the current builds, I like that. But I think that might just be a thing I'm going to do in between episodes because, well. You know, it, it, it's a minor thing that I'll slowly get done as time goes on and, you know, isn't something I need to spend, like, full 20-minute episodes working on because 20 minutes of just working on upgrading a Triceratops exhibit that I've already spent, like, uh, how many, however many episodes I spent rebuilding that thing. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't really want to spend too many more just working on it. I think, I think we've had enough episodes for the Triceratops for now. Um, maybe if we... I don't know, rebuild them again at some point. Who knows? There's a good chance that will happen. There's a good chance I'll rebuild everything in this park again. There's one of the Dilos. Hello! He's spooky. He's too spook for me. Anyway, so this is the area back here that, uh... I have a Fortune 2 shovel. I didn't realize Fortune 2 was on this. That is a... Why is Fortune 2... I'm not... Okay, I'm not even gonna question it. Okay. So how did I want to do this? I wanted there to be a platform here. So like, 
you would be walking at about this level, I guess. Or maybe this one, I don't know. Um, you know what, we'll use oak planks, I think, for the time being. We'll set it here, I guess, for now. So this will be a bit of an outdoor area um, outside the main complex, I guess, because, well, you know, we're not gonna have a secure, a high security voltage fence type thing like that, you know, right next to the building or right inside the building because, you know, there's not really much need for that. And that is a loud UPS truck. It's so loud. Um, I'll quickly throw a crafting table in here. Oh yeah, I forgot I have iron bars in here. Because I was like, oh, that's gonna be realistic, and it is realistic. Oh, and I have nether rack. I forgot. I have not looked in this building for quite a while. Um, let me see. We're gonna get some slabs, because I love slabs. They make good stairs. Um, I don't know where exact. Okay, so... We're going to, I guess, have a bit of a staircase then, I guess, going like right here. I didn't need that many slabs, I guess. Um, well, be, yeah, a bit of a staircase right here. So this would be how you get up to the main viewing platform into this exhibit. Um, and then I guess the next thing there would be would be, oh, do we have any clay? I kind of want to see if we have some clay now, because that'd be kind of cool, I think, to do, uh... I don't know, I like doing the clay, but I'm not sure I have much left, uh, doing clay for bases of buildings. I think it looks cool, but I'm not sure how much we have left, because I used up a lot of it with the Triceratops. I mean... I mean, you can't see too much there, but I, I used a decent amount with it. What color did I use? Was it green or was it blue? I feel like it might have been blue. Um, I have chests everywhere, so I'm gonna quickly check in the laboratory and see if we left them in here. Uh, there's no clay in here, all right. Um, and the other chests won't have anything. Um, I don't think I have any more chests left in that area. But I'm not sure. And I didn't bring any for the uh, like Confucius Soreness exhibit, so quickly check in here uh oops not coal okay we have very very little clay left uh do i have any in here five um is that seriously all of my clay that is all of the clay we own um that is mildly worrying but Whatever. Well, I want to find more. <gasps> Fortune shovel. You know, actually, that for wow. <laughs> I actually find that pretty funny. I'm like, ah, oh, fortune on a shovel. What use is that? Clay. Just getting tons and tons of clay. Um, I feel like there was clay somewhere. Was it in the Triceratops exhibit? It might have been in the Triceratops exhibit. I kind of want to look for clay real quick just to see if we can find any because I'm going to need clay if I'm going to build this exhibit. Or not the exhibit, if I'm going to build the building in blue, yeah. I think I might just go with blue for the buildings because I kind of like that blue border. And there's a creeper in here. That's really annoying. Go away, creeper. I don't like you. Nobody likes you, creeper. You're annoying. And you blow people up. Because, I don't know, you're just... A terrible, terrible creature. There we go. Decent amount of clay there. I really should get to like enchanting more because I need more levels. I just paused because I suddenly heard a like thing in the background. I think it's a helicopter. Yeah, that's a helicopter. But what kind of helicopter? I don't know. I like helicopters. Helicopters are pretty cool. Uh, but I like fighter planes more. Oh man, I love... Okay, so if you guys... I don't know... I don't know if I ever really talk much about my interests aside from like video games and dinosaurs outside of... Uh, on, or at least on the YouTube channel. Um, yeah, but I am a... I like World War II. World War II is something I find extremely interesting. 
mainly because I really like planes and or uh, types of planes and fighter planes in particular, uh, especially prop planes. And World War II has tons of those. And yeah, uh, but oh man, I went to a uh, Heron Space Museum. And I believe I talked about that in a video because that would have been all the way back in January. So that would have been actually exactly four months ago. I went to the museum, but. Man, the planes they had—they had a P-51 and a B-29 and a B-17 and a Stuka and a Spitfire and oh, what else do they have? They had the Supermarine Spitfire. They had the Corsair. Uh, I think they had a B-25 Mitchell as well, which is a really cool plane. Oh wait, no, it was the—it wasn't a B-25. It was a—was it a B-24? It was a B-24. Was it? I don't remember. They had the SR-71. The um, Oh, they had a lot of cool stuff. Lots and lots of really cool uh, military planes. I love that kind of stuff. Okay. So... Yeah, that's that's not enough clay. Alright. So... Maybe should I change the plans? Clay, clay hunting instead? Clay hunting. We're gonna clay hunt. Um, because we're gonna need clay, I guess, to actually get the building going. So... I guess we're gonna go on a bit of an explore instead of, you know, building things because, I don't know, that just sounds like a typical me kind of video. You know, we start off with a basic plan and we're like, okay, we're gonna do this. And then, you know, like 15 minutes later, I'm like, okay, we're not doing that. I'm going, I realize I don't have anything I need to build that. So we're gonna go do something else to get the required materials and go away monsters. I really need to light this place up. That's why I was getting carpenter's box, wasn't it? I'm talking really fast. Oh, I forgot I had a mushroom. Oh, I love mushrooms. They're so cool. Maybe I'll build a mushroom exhibit. No, I probably won't. Oh! That, actually, I've got some stuff to talk about. I just remembered. First off, um, the MOA, or... I completely forgot its name. Uh, Dino... Dinoheris, or something like that? Basically, giant... Ostrich bird thing from New Zealand. And it's really cool, and Fossils and Archaeology revealed that they have a model for it, and it will be coming in one of the future updates, which is really cool. And I, I don't know why I'm excited for that, but I really am. I like the idea of getting a MOA. I think they're cool. Now I'd like to see uh, the eagle. Was it Argentavis that lived in that area? Was it Argentavis that hunted the MOA? What is this? This is the Triceratops exhibit, isn't it? That's how long it's been since I've been back this way. <laughs> uh... I've been trying to figure out where I want to do my aquatic park for this world. Um, oh, that was something someone brought up in the comments. Uh, they were like, oh, you should do an aquatic air, some aquatic type area with the Sukumimus, or not Sukumimus, Sarcosuchus and the Spinosaurus and stuff. That was basically like my Chinini formation stuff from my last park. And, you know, even though I have already technically done that build, I honestly wouldn't mind going back to something like that. I loved the Chinini stuff. The Chinini stuff looked incredible, in my opinion. Probably one of my highlights from that world. Um, I mean, towards the end when I started renovating a lot more stuff, and with the stuff I did actually manage to renovate before I quit that world, um, it probably wasn't the best of the renovations, but I don't know. I have a special place in my heart for that build. It, it was cool. It was a really cool idea, and with even better execution, I think it could be even better. Um, but yeah, I, I honestly might consider trying to do Shinini again, because that was a cool build. That was a really cool build, and I did quite enjoy it. I mean, I think if I'm going to do the Shinini formation again, it's not going to be a dead end like it was for that park. No, it's going to have to be a transitional uh, piece. Actually, if anything... The Chinini uh, stuff might be really good to trans uh, transition from the Dinosaur Park into the Ice Age Park because, I mean, yeah, they're both, I mean, it'd be going basically from aquatic to semi, or semi-aquatic to aquatic from terrestrial dinosaurs, so, yeah, that could actually be a pretty good, yeah, I, I think we might actually do something like that. That could actually be a really cool thing to do. Um, so, yeah, we might bring Chinini back because that was pretty cool. Oh! And the second thing, so, I mean, this has been pretty much everywhere, you know, everyone seen some, you know, everyone and their grandma has seen the videos and stuff, but Jurassic World Evolution is coming out, and all the gameplay footage, how long has this ravine been here? 
Considering there's fossils in here, I probably haven't been in there. Or if I have, it was long enough ago that I have no recollection of it. And I mean, considering that the first episode for the series came out eight months ago, um, yeah, there's a really good chance I don't remember going in there. Even if I have been in there. I am ruining this river, but I feel like it was going to be ruined anyway at some point. Because, well, where is it? Yeah, it's here. And I've, I've got plans for this area. I want the aviary to go somewhere around here. I don't know why, but I do. I think it could look really cool. Oh wait, no, I was talking about putting the uh, Ice Age stuff over here, wasn't I? I don't know. I'm gonna have a lot of different plans for this area and only one of them will eventually go through until I guess I decide to change it. And is that a cave? Yep, that's a cave. Well, I'm just gonna get the clay because we need lots of clay for this building because uh, I don't know, I like clay. Clay is a cool, or stained clay, I guess. It's, it's now called terracotta in the latest updates, isn't it? Terracotta then, I like terracotta. I think it looks very pretty and, or stained terracotta and I don't know, I like using it. It makes a good accent block or I guess border block, I guess for this park. I actually kind of want to look up here real quick. Um, see if there's an area I think I might end up using as an aviary type thing. I haven't actually been up here in a while. Um, oh man, I love this being the this mountain being the backdrop for the uh, the current part of the park, though. I mean, I, I think it just looks so cool to have it All right, where it is. Just got to figure out. Yeah, I've got that little alcove over there, and I want to do something with that. I'm not sure what, though. I am not sure what. Um, oh yeah, Jurassic World Evolution. I was talk going to talk about that. Yeah. Um, I saw the gameplay footage, and I am getting that game for sure. Um, whether or not I'm going to play it on the channel, I don't know. Um, surprisingly, even though I play a decent amount of dinosaur games on the channel. Well, actually, decent amount. I don't even really play many dinosaur games on the channel. I played this, and then I've occasionally played JPOG and a bit of Primal Carnage. Okay. Although it might seem like a game that I should definitely play on the channel, I don't think I am going to before anyone starts asking me to. My reason being, the day that comes out, there are going to be tons and tons of people playing it. It's, I don't know. It, it, also, it, to me, it's less of a game that I would record and more of a game that I would rather, you know, instead of making videos on, I'd rather just go sit down for a couple days straight and play it. That, that's kind of what I would like to do. I'd prefer to do that than record it. So, you know, sorry if you wanted to see me play it. I'm probably not going to play it on the channel. Um, I might bring it up occasionally once it comes out, but yeah, I, I'm I'm pretty excited for it though. It, it looks like it should be good. Hopefully, you know, it, it lives up to the hype or pe I hope that the people people don't you know, overhype it too much. So, you know, it if it does have problems, which obviously it will, um, it is going to have some problems, especially at release, you know. I'm just kind of hoping, I'm trying not to get too hyped about it for one main reason, and that is similar to Fallout 4. Um, it, it's a big game, it's a big plan, it's something a lot of people have been looking forward to for a while because, you know, JPOG is like 15, 16 years old now, and uh, yeah, it's, it, it hasn't aged super duper well, although a lot of really cool new mods have come out for JPOG recently. I might actually consider replaying JPOG at some point. Um, and for those of you who don't know the acronym JPOG, that is Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping it doesn't have the same fate as Fallout 4 where people overhype it way too much. And then, you know, it comes out and it's not the perfect product that everyone wants it to be. And then, you know, people are super disappointed and stuff because I mean, it's not going to be perfect, let's all be honest here. It's a video game. Video games are never perfect. In fact, honestly, I find some of the best video games <laughs> that I enjoy the most, at least, are never the most complete ones. Like, one of my favorite all-time games, which actually, if you looked at my Steam library and saw the amount of hours I've put into games, I haven't actually put all that many in, but Skyrim. Skyrim is still one of my all-time favorite video games that I've played quite a lot. It, it, without some mods, it's... Even now, it's still a fairly broken game. Like, there there are problems with it. It's, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, Skyrim's got some problems still. 
but I don't know. So the problems only add to the charm, for, in my opinion, at least. Like, I don't know. There's something uh, awesome about having that. Cow Island. I forgot Cow Island was a thing. I should do something with Cow Island. I don't know. What do I want to do with Cow Island? You know what? Because, you know, I want to get you guys more involved with the series. Um, I don't know when I'm going to do this, but give me an idea for Cow Island. I want to do something with this. And uh, no, I'm not going to kill all the cows. No, I'm not going to turn it into like an industrial cow cooker. I might take out some of the cows, free up the space a bit, but uh, I don't know. I kind of want to do something with Cow Island. I, th I think that could be nice. I think that could be nice indeed. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Maybe we could, um, hmm, what could we do with Cow Island? We could build a barn on it, I guess. Um, oh, <laughs> the uh, hotel. Um, I'd like to leave some cows on there. Maybe we could put, like, dryosaurs out there with them. That could be kind of cool. Could be kind of nifty. I need more experience, because I need to start enchanting more things. I need to do a lot of things on this world. And, oh, God, I pulled on my headphones. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things I need to do in this world. And I just, it's less of the fact that I can't do them and more of a fact that I just need to start uh, freeing up some time to be able to do them, or making myself do them. Um, 33, decent amount there actually. Um, is it Cyan Sinclair like? I think it's Cyan. Oh, it's just, is that just blue? Ooh, wait, um, I have any eye? Yep, uh... Clay, okay. Oh, wool and clay, I forgot about that stuff. Cyan stained clay, I like cyan stained clay. That is possibly one of my most used blocks. But do I want to do cyan stained clay for the building? I don't know, maybe we'll just go with blue. I think, you know what, I think we'll just go with blue. Oops, I need to get out of the search bar. There we go. Yeah, we might just go with blue this time around. And dang, I actually have a decent amount of lapis. Um, oh, I need a crafting table, okay. I forgot, you make it like a stained glass where you have to do that. Okay, there we go, we got 35 stained clay. Um, I'm gonna grab some stone bricks and a bit of cobble. Um, yeah, we just need to get the stone bricks and um, I'm gonna look at the map. I like maps; they're cool. I like trying. I've tried to make a couple of maps, like uh, Lord of the Rings kind of styled maps recently. Um, I'm not particularly good at it, but eh, it's okay. But uh, eh, whatever, you know. Learning art. Art is not the easiest thing in the world to pick up, but it can be, I guess, somewhat rewarding if you get good at it. Or, well, it feels rewarding when you get good at it. Um, you know what? Okay, there's another thing I'm gonna ask you guys about. What should I actually put in this station? Because, like, I mean, we'll have, like, a uh, well, okay, so some things we can put in, um, and if I do get a helicopter mod, so a helicopter, a helipad, we want a helipad, because I kind of want to do this a bit like JPOG, so we'll have the helipad there, um, I might build a garage to store jeeps in, or motorcycles or whatever, so, you know, we got some vehicles. Um, I mean, another thing a ranger station would probably have would be a barracks, where you can go grab weaponry to subdue dinosaurs if needed. Um, but other than that, I don't really know what to put in there. So if you guys have any ideas for what I should do, so, you know, like maybe a, oh, we, I guess we're gonna do hold, holding pens for the time being because I kind of need a place to keep some of the animals. So holding pens, um, I think I'm gonna do a different, a couple different types of holding pens, actually. Um, we could do some outdoor ones um, that are a bit larger. And I think that, I, I don't know where I'm gonna put that. Actually, I'm gonna get up on this hill real quick and see if I can find a good place to put a holding pen. Because we're gonna, if we're gonna keep things like elasmotheriums in the holding pens, they're gonna, we're gonna need some pretty large ones. 
Um, but I don't know. Let me see. So. Oh. That's a pit of death. Okay. There we go. We're back on the treetops. Uh, I'll break that. Uh, okay. So we've kind of got this back area right here in this hill to build the uh, facility. Or the first facility because I think, you know, we're obviously sending the park out that direction. We're extending it out that direction. It's going to be going back this direction. The park is going to be fairly massive pretty quickly um, if I keep expanding it out. So this probably won't be the only station. We'll probably build at least one more, maybe two more. I don't know. Um, but I guess I kind of need an area. If we're going to do open air pens, we, we're going to need something. Oh... And that reminds me, what do you guys... Oh, if we do holding pens, what do you guys want me to do something... Okay. So I guess in the Jurassic Park canon, there are technically two different types of holding pens. Um, that we've seen, at least. Now, unsurprisingly, I guess, both of them have been for the Velociraptors. But the first one is obviously the raptor uh, holding pen from the first film. Which is a pretty iconic thing. And in the Jurassic Park Operation Genesis game... I think those were the hatcheries you would, yeah, those were the hatcheries. So it's it's a pretty, you know, iconic thing. Uh, so c would you guys want to see me do something like that for the, uh, uh, the holding pens or do you want to see maybe something a bit more like the raptor paddock from Jurassic World where it's a bit more like, I guess an, was that an, uh, an octagon? Yeah, I think it was an octagon. More octagonally shaped, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, or would you want to see something a bit more like a, just a standard exhibit, a bog standard exhibit I'd build. So it's got, you know, a, I guess we built it on a grid. So my typical electrical fences, so kind of like this style, um, except, you know, it's, I don't really know, just a, a small electrical fenced off area, probably in a grid pattern. So let's say five electrical fence segments, so five times five, so 25 by 25 or 25 by 30 block segments. And have that be where we keep the animals? I don't know. Uh, the holding pens probably won't, I mean, I don't want them to be overly large. I, I, I do want to keep them fairly small because I don't want to be building massive exhibits because you know, I'm just building an exhibit. Now they're meant to be holding pens, but anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, I want to do a, a large holding pen like that. A couple, I think two to three of those, um, two to three large outdoor holding pens, and then around three or four smaller indoor holding pens. So these would be for creatures like uh, Velociraptor, Denonychus, uh, okay, everything from the comp, the size of a uh, Compi or Confuciusornis up to about the size of the Pachycephalosaurus. So, you know, small dinosaurs and not, you know, the medium to large ones, which would go outside in the other holding pens. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about that idea. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, surprisingly, or I guess unsurprisingly right now, I haven't really, again, I haven't really put a ton of thought into how I'm going to do this whole area exactly. Um, I'm honestly just kind of winging it because I was like, I want to do something this episode and I don't really want to build Triceratops exhibits again, so I'm going to do this. Okay, now that actually sounds, ooh, in my head that sounds like a much better idea. Um, I don't know, I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. I don't know. Oh, I'm coming up with some ideas. I think we're I think we are gonna have to cut it here though because it's it's been a fairly long episode I think uh, I, I don't actually know. I think it's it's been at least 20 minutes So yeah, I think that's been a decent length for today. I'm gonna work on this uh, Building as well because I think I could try integrate it a bit better into the actual facility That's gonna go back here. But anyway, yeah, let me know what you guys want me to put back here your thoughts on some of the stuff I've brought up um, and yeah, I'm going to take your guys' uh, comments into account and then next episode I want to have at least uh, maybe gotten the floor plan out and then we'll go from there. So until next time guys, see ya.